In the previous topic, you learned how to accept string input from users. In this topic, you will learn how to deal with numbers in Java. Numbers can be whole, negative, and with decimal value. The data type for whole numbers is int, while numbers with decimal points is double. To illustrate, let's create another class And name it Java Project 2. Again, add this line of code here. Note that your program won't run without this line. The following are some of the examples of how you declare an int and double variables. For variable initialization, you have int score equal to 0, double change equal to 34.99. Don't forget the semicolon at the end of each statement. Note that these two lines of code are the same with int score, semicolon, double change, semicolon. This is for the declaration. Well, to give the value, score is equal to 0 and change equal to 34.99. The first one is the shorter version, but take note that you'll just initialize your variables if you already know their values beforehand. If not, you need just to declare it first and then assign values on the later part of your program. Note that you don't have to put quotes in your values. That's just for strings. In Java, you can perform mathematical operations like Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and modulus for remainder. Say, for example, you want to add 5 on the value of the score. So your code will be score equal to score plus 5. This means the value on the right side will be assigned or given to the left side. Initially, our score variable was initialized with 0 value. So, score is equal to 0 plus 5. Now, score has a new value of 5. Let's check. Let's print out the variable score. System.out.println score. Let's say meron tayong grocery store and ka-calculate natin ang amount na binili ng customer natin. Assume lang natin na 3 items lang ang binili niya. Disclaimer, this is not the best program for this scenario. We'll just use this based on what we learned so far. In the future topics, we will gradually improve this program. So let's delete these codes and write out what steps we need to create this program. So first, we need to input the item names. Next is to input item price. And then calculate the amount due. Repeat steps 1 to 3. And then lastly, print out the amount too. So let's convert this plan into running Java code. So first, let's import the scanner class and instantiate it since we need an input from the user.
Next is to declare variables that will hold the item's purchase. and a double variable that will hold the amount due value. Item price 1 for the price of item 1, then item price 2, and lastly item price 3, which are all initialized to 0. Next is to let the user input an item purchase. And assign it to item 1 variable. Then the amount for that item and then assign it to item price 1. Since this is a double data type, we will use next double method to accept the value. So next or next line for the string input and next double for the double input. Copy and paste this line of codes here twice and change the variable names accordingly. Now we're done with steps 1 to 3. Let's interchange these two here. So now we're going to calculate the amount due for the items purchased. Add this line of code. This means the values of item price 1, 2, and 3 will be assigned to the variable amount due. Then we print out the result like this. Now let's run our code and input these values. Oops, we have error. Let's rerun. So here, we need to change the next line method to next. 
The difference between the two is that the next line method reads until the end of the line, while next method only reads until the space. Let's run again our program. This should work now. Input these values. So this is our amount due. You can also do it like this to eliminate one variable. It works the same. As you can see, we use next double method. This is for accepting double values, while well, next int, yes, you got it right, that's for the integer values. That's how you deal with numbers in Java. If you have questions and clarifications, please comment it down below. Thank you all for watching. Have a good day.